It was in the depths of the first age of Middle Earth when the great spirit of evil first awoke. He was named Sauron, the Dark Lord, and his existence was a mystery to all. He had been born in the great void before the world was created and had been a part of the darkness ever since. In time, Sauron began to take form and gain power. He was a master of the dark arts and a powerful sorcerer. He had an insatiable hunger for power and knowledge, and his ambition was to dominate all of Middle-earth. Sauron used his powers to create a great fortress in Mordor, which he named Barad-dûr. There, he gathered an army of orcs and other creatures of evil, and began to spread his influence across the land. He enslaved many of the peoples of Middle-earth, and sought to bring about a new age of darkness in which he would be the supreme ruler. Sauron's plans were eventually foiled by the great alliance of elves, men and dwarves. They fought a long and difficult battle against the Dark Lord and eventually succeeded in overthrowing him and banishing him from Middle-earth. Though Sauron was gone, his influence still lingered. He had set in motion a series of events that would shape the history of Middle-earth for generations to come. There were those who still feared Sauron's return and the dark shadow he had cast over the land. They believed that, in time, he would find a way to come back and once again attempt to conquer Middle-earth. For centuries, Sauron remained in the shadows, plotting and scheming, waiting for the right moment to make his return. He used his powerful magic to influence the thoughts and actions of those around him, slowly building an army of loyal followers who would help him achieve his ultimate goal. Finally, after many long years of waiting, Sauron made his return. He came in the form of a great and powerful Ringwraith, the dreaded Lord of the Nazgul. With his return, the War of the Ring began, and Sauron's dark forces marched across Middle-earth. But in the end, Sauron was defeated by the forces of good and once again banished from the world. Though Sauron did not succeed in his quest for domination, his legacy still lives on in the minds of those who know of his existence. He remains a powerful symbol of evil and a reminder of the dangers of unchecked ambition and greed.